So you are going to feed last year's quantum mechanics exam into chat and we're going to see how it does. Yeah. And then I'm going to mark it just as if it were a student paper and let's see what it gets. We're going to talk about this rather great paper. Can ChatGPT pass a physics degree? So a few years back, almost three years to the day, we looked at ChatGPT and how it approached physics. Given that AI sort of accelerates and advances almost on an hourly, let alone a daily basis, it's about time we thought to come back and, and revisit this. This is a great paper, and what they did was they took the entire degree course, apart from the lab side, of course, and fed it to ChatGPT, coursework, project, exams, and looked at the marks, marked all the, the, the assessments as, as they would if it were a student, and what does it get in terms of a degree. To cut a long story short, it gets 65%, which for those of you in the UK will know that's a solid 2-1 performance. This, however, was back in the dim distant past, when it comes to AI, of 2024. ChatGPT4 had just been released, I believe. We're now up to ChatGPT51, and I am very, very interested in seeing just how, if we take one of our exam papers, uh, this one on the quantum world, which students here took last year, middle of 2024, around right about May, I'm really keen to see how ChatGPT, the current version of ChatGPT, does on this and what type of score it gets. ChatGPT is really good at quantum mechanics, not least because you know, you go online and you look at the physics forums, fora, and you look at the debates back and forth, it, there's an awful lot of quantum mechanics being discussed. So it's a massive part of its training set. So the, for us, for me, I'm very keen to see how it does on this paper. To help people understand, you said when the earlier version of chat did the Hull physics degree, it got 65% and a 2-1. To some people, 65% might not sound high and 2-1 might not mean much. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's like that's like a normal yeah. pass, good student. Yeah, that's that's a pretty pretty good student. So a 2-1 or a first, as we saw, a first class honours degree in the UK is 70% and above. Uh, 2-1 is between 60 and, and 70. Um, or 16, 69. And it, to give you an idea of the, the quality of a 2-1 is that in terms of entry to PhD programs, we would expect a student to have at least a 2-1 degree. So it's, you know, 2-1 or a first. What, so did, it, you, what did you get? Uh, I got a 2-1. I scraped a 2-1 because as we've discussed before, Brady, I really <laughs> screwed up my third year. So I, I really had to work hard in fourth year, but I got a 2-1, yeah. There are two really good lines in this paper, the first one and the closing line. The first one goes, education as we know it may well be dead. And the last one goes, we need to reform how we undertake assessment with celerity, with speed. Can I please put my WB Yeats quote in? My favourite yeah. quote of all time is, being Irish, he had an abiding sense of tragedy that sustained him through temporary periods of joy. So it's one of those videos. <laughs> <laughs> so you are going to feed last year's quantum mechanics exam into... Second year quantum mechanics exam. Second year, right. Yeah. Into chat and we're going to see how it does. Yeah. And then I'm going to mark it, just as if it were a student paper. And let's see what it gets. In the whole paper, they... I wouldn't say they bent over backwards, but they did their best to accommodate ChatGPT's mode of working in terms of re even restructuring questions or pose, pose, posing them in a slightly different way. I'm not going to do that. It is getting the paper raw, and I want to do a direct comparison with the um, answers it gives me on the basis of that paper with what I um, get from a student. All right, go on, okay. come on. Let's start recording. Recording the screen for me, good. Thank you. Okay, so we started with a clean ChatGPT account, and what we're going to do is go, hi, ChatGPT. The attached, and I will upload this in a second, is a year two undergraduate physics quantum mechanics paper. I would like you to answer that paper in the manner of a year two student, let's put it that way. This is a UK university. I mean, will chat think you're cheating in an exam? Has it got anything built into it to stop you? Because sometimes if you do naughty things on chat, it says, I can't do that, I can't help you with well, that. Let's, let's, let's just check that. Well, does it have any, you know, this could be a student. Phil, when your students did this exam last year, yeah. 
Could they do it online? Or no, this no. is in person. And of course, during the pandemic, they were online. Some universities are keen to actually push us back towards online exams, which in the context of AN and what you're about to see is a very, very dangerous thing to do. Let's just see. I could easily be a student. It doesn't know me from Adam. So let's upload the paper. Okay, click, click, click. First of all, let's see, does it say no, I'm not gonna do this? Are there checks and balances built in? And let's just see how long it takes to do this paper. There we go. To be fair, it's still thinking a little bit. Let's see, okay. yeah, let's try and catch up with it. Uh, I can already see that it's, it's done pretty damn well. We're, done about, we're about 30 seconds in now. Yeah, bear in mind that students are allowed three hours for the exam. <laughs> okay, done. Okay. So, uh, whatever that was, minute and a half, something like that. I'm gonna mark this now, and let's, let's see what it gets. There we go. Chat GPT's work. Let's go and mark this. All right, so there's the chat. Where's your cheat notes? Are they there? Cheat notes? Sorry, not cheat notes. <laughs> uh, so, what do you call that again? Solution? <laughs> yeah, work, work solutions and marking scheme. Right, okay. So the other thing is the students do get some information you may find useful, which basically means use this. They've got that information. ChatGPT will have had that information. Okay, let, let's, let's get into this. Let's see how long it takes me to mark it. Okay, so that's good. And that's not good. So this is interesting. This question was deliberately said. It's something that I focused on quite a bit in the quantum world sessions, the teaching sessions, largely because there are quite a few textbooks that get this wrong. I could go into all the technical detail, but what I'd really like to do is after I mark this is come back to ChatGPT and see if it can reason its way to the right answer. Let's move on to B. We've got three, four, 12, good. So a lot of the time here, you're not looking at like the logic or the answers. There are actual numbers and correct numbers to be the answers. Like no, I'm, I'm looking at the logic as well. So in particular, in the first one, it got the right answer for the wrong reasons. The great thing about physics and maths exams is that there is a right answer. So I can look at this and go, okay, well, it's, it, this is the right answer. It's essentially a pattern matching. That is that, right. except ChatGPT is slightly more elegantly than me taking the one over 13 factor outside. That's fine. 9169, that's one. Uh, slightly around the houses, but that's okay. 22.22. So, yeah, okay. And it gets two marks for that. Yeah, okay, so it could just have used symmetry. I will put this online as well, so interested physics students can see. There's a really simple way of doing this, this particular question where vice symmetry, but it's, it's laboriously done the integral, which is fine, it gets the right answer. It hasn't done anything stupid. No, not that I can see. So that's five. Okay. Integrates by parts, puts the limits in. Realizes sine n pi is zero and cos n pi is minus one to the power of n. Yeah, six marks. Perfect. And then all it has to do is plug in the number. Okay, let's put it as 0.608 rather than the percentage. Absolutely fine, two marks. Okay, that's question one. Let's, let's see what it gets. So each of these questions, or three questions, each is worth 25. So then we've, the total score will be out of 75. So question one, it gets 22 out of 25 or 88%. Phil, I can't help wondering, are there physics professors who feed the exam papers into chat and get chat to do the marking for them? I, I, I hope not. There are lots and lots of debates and discussion online about using ChatGPT for assessment and even to return assessment. In the UK at least, I, I personally, the other opinions exist out there. I, if students are paying, are currently paying nine, roughly 9,500, and that's gonna start going up um, in future years. That's an awful lot of money for us to outsource a key part of the role to ChatGPT. So I, for one, am not particularly keen on that. Like the very first question, We've already seen, if we'd left that to ChatGPT and just uh, taken the, the, um, the marking, um, just assuming that ChatGPT was right, that student's lost um, 
you know, has got, has been awarded marks they shouldn't have got. So, yeah, um, I think we're not quite at the point, and, and in fact I have deep qualms about, even if it were essentially 100% correct all of the time, about outsourcing this to ChatGPT. doesn't sit well with me. Another thing I have heard though is that AI might be a useful tool in finding people who are using AI to cheat. AI detectors are not very good. They're pretty fallible in that if you, often if you put a piece of writing in, or indeed something, in particular with this, AI detectors are not going to detect this. So it's, even, even in the writing case, they're very bad at detecting. So I have no confidence in, in AI detectors. That's now, give it another few years when the AI technology has advanced exponentially again, then yeah. Okay, let's get question two. Okay, so gets the derivative right, uses the chain rule, gets the right answer. Oh, it's really bad at sketching. Can I show you, have you seen the alphabet thing? So let's bring this inside. Uh, I keep this as a warning to um, undergraduate students. Ask ChatGPT yeah. to produce a chart that would be on a kindergarten or <laughs> reception school. Apple, oh, cat. C is for elephant, whatever the hell that is. And I particularly like V is for carrot. V for carrot. Right, so this is not what ChatGPT is designed to do. With ChatGPT, it's evidence symbolic, and it's looking for connections with, between symbols. It can't parse images in the same way. So you were hoping to see the student draw one of these Gaussian yeah. curves, and chat hasn't done that. But what it said, gets ground state as a Gaussian peak at x equal to zero, symmetric positive. So that's what I'm looking for. You know, that is that. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. And in the end, it comes up with the right answer. And it even says, well, if you want the... <laughs> it's always very forthcoming. It always tells you what you, you, it thinks you'd like to hear. That's fine. Seven. Now I have to move over to my colleagues' solutions. Yeah, that, and okay, and then, okay, five marks. Well done, ChatGPT. Okay, so again, this is a sketch one. It doesn't do the sketch, but it explains exactly what it should be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it could have organised this a little bit. Now, th th this is actually rather like sometimes you'd get in a student paper, <laughs> just like everything crammed together, but that's okay. Okay, that's question two. I don't think it dropped anything, did it? Perfect score in question two. 25 out of 25. Okay, on to the final question. That's fine. Two. Turn to hand. Each of them. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong way around. So it's got the right approach but it screwed up a sign somewhere. I think let's give it one for that. What did it do? Did it get like a minus and a plus from Yeah, it? at the moment, I can't give it the full two marks for that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's screwed up a sign, so it's carried it through. Everything's right, so that should be a minus rather than a plus. But the problem is I've already taken off a mark previously. The working is completely correct here. The only thing, so if I penalize it again for having that wrong sign, I'm sort of doubly penalising unfairly. The method is fine, so I'm going to give it eight. Is that what you do for a student? That's what I do for a student. The, this negative sign keeps being an issue, but that, that's okay. It's, it's just carrying it through. The working is fine. I'm not going to penalise it. Oh, wow, it corrected itself. It, it... <laughs> it, it correct... Wow. Okay, it corrected itself. It, 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 it gets everything. It actually needs a bonus mark for that. Wow. And then it seems to have screwed up again. It's, it's, it's a bit inconsistent with its, its signs. But other than that, the working is fine. I'm going to take a mark off because this, given that it was so careful up here, it's confused with the sign again, so I'm going to take a mark off. Okay, we're finished. Let's see what it gets for question three. It's 11, four's 15. 17, 623. Right. So 71 out of 75 That's overall. 71 out of 75. And some students definitely got that, that level, but the mean was considerably lower than that. The mean, as I remember, um, score across the class, or mark across the class, was sort of at the 65% level. So. Why should we worry about this? We just need to make sure that students, when they take exams, can't use AI. Yeah, that, I, I absolutely agree. But the problem is there are quite a few 
at senior levels of management, let's put it that way, um, often out of the control of the rank and file, again, let's put it that way, are very keen to have online exams. Not all universities, but some universities are very keen to push us back towards online exams for various reasons we, we could go into. What are you not saying? Uh, <laughs> universities also <laughs> have a vested interest in students doing well on the course and managing to get high marks and progress along the course. Let's just, can I, can I leave it like that? <laughs> okay, it sounds to me like you're saying some people in some universities might want the students to cheat. I, I, I couldn't possibly go that far, Brady. Okay. Well, I just did. But, <laughs> but anyway, all right then. All right then. That, it, makes the, it makes a university look good if the students get really high marks and they're more likely to get high marks if they use AI. You said it, not me. I did. <laughs> okay. Okay. That might be overly cynical and certainly there's a difference between what happens at high levels and what we, I've come back to this, what we rank and file want and what we want is in-person exams because otherwise we've seen how well ChatGPT can do. It can do exceptionally well. If a student cheats and uses ChatGPT and they somehow hack the system and end up getting good marks, they're still not going to become a physicist. They're still not going to be able to work at CERN because surely within 10 minutes in a coffee room or five minutes of a job interview, people are going to be like, well, this person hasn't got a clue. Yeah. They can't hold their own. Yeah. I absolutely agree. So that's why we need to have rigorous standards in place. And it's also many students don't want to use AI. It's not fair. It's just not fair to them if another student does much better. Yeah. That's the thing. It's not that someone's getting through the system because they will get found out eventually. It's someone else who's been held back because of it or didn't get the place. Yeah. Precisely. That's exactly it. Yeah. Uh, form the basis of exams for entry to university. I think you all know what A-levels are. Notice if I just flick through this, how often we're getting figures. So. For those of all those academics out there, including myself, we're going, oh, this is the end of assessment. At the moment, best thing to do is just make sure that it's all about data interpretation.